you can kind of see here, you're talking about revenue here. Revenue is the amount of money that's brought in, okay, not considering what the cost is to make it, okay, but just the, the amount of money brought in. And that's going to be based on whatever price is charged times the number of times or number of uh, charges that were made. So in this case, subscription. Okay, so when you look at this original problem, what you're going to be doing on this is when you find out what happens when uh, there's a change in the, um, the rates, if you charge one thing, a different number of people subscribe. And the way that you can calculate this is as follows. Okay, I'm going to calculate revenue as a function of N, the number of subscribers. Okay, and so instead of taking P times N, Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, sort of the price and the number with their adjustments okay, to find what the, the changing or the, the changing revenue would be. So when you look at sort of the original situation there, had a price of what? Originally the price was 30. Okay, so when the price is 30, what is the corresponding number of subscribers? 84,000, right? So right here, if I took 30 times 84,000, I have my revenue from the original situation. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to see what happens when there's a change made to this. And okay, so I'm looking at, uh, in this case, what's the change going to be here? What's the change, corresponding change going to be here? Okay, so when I look here, when my price adjusts by how much? And okay, so if I have a $2 increment okay, and I'll call it my increment will be my variable here or actually I'm going to call this not n but I'm going to call it x and so x represents the number of two dollar increments and so whatever uh, increment here So my increment of change okay, is going to be my x value. So that's what the revenue is a function of. And so here, as every time I raise the price by $2, what happens to my uh, number of subscribers? It goes down by 5,000. So it's minus 5,000 for every increment. And now, you're not always going to be given this number as 5,000. If it had said that uh, if they raise the price to $32, the new number of subscribers is 79,000. Do you see that that would give us the same increment change? And so you might have to calculate the actual change yourself. And in this particular version, they gave you uh, what that change is. And, and so once you get to this, once you set it up in this manner, what you can do to find the maximum revenue uh, is you can manipulate this equation right here. Okay? So if I manipulate this equation, uh, if I multiply this out, it is a quadratic. Okay, and so what I want to do uh, for this is I'm going to um, look at the vertex of this function. Okay, because the vertex is what will allow me to find um, the adjustment that I need to make. Okay, so we are going to need the calculator here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is what? Would you guys rather look at the graph of this or um, use the negative b over 2a? Okay, so let's use negative b over 2a. It's a little more consistent. Sometimes it's harder to uh, manage the viewing window for the graph. So uh, what we can do here is we want to put this into our general form. Okay, so we're going to expand it first. So if I hit F2 algebra tab, uh, the F2 algebra tab and choose expand, I'm then going to take my function uh, 30 plus 2x, multiply by 84,000 minus 5,000x, close it off. And when I do that, I get my equation. And so notice here that my b value is 18,000. So I'm going to use negative b over 2a. So negative 18,000 over 2 times. And when I look here, 
my uh, uh, A value is negative 10,000. Okay, so my thousands here cancel. Um, and when I simplify this, I have uh, negatives cancel. I have 18 over 20. And I can continue to reduce this um, here. Um, 2 goes into 18, 9. 2 goes into 20, 10. So I have my uh, x coordinate of the vertex is 9 tenths. Okay. So what that means is that this is the uh, price increment that's going to give me my maximum or optimal uh, revenue. Okay. So uh, remember my increments were in terms of two, two x right here. So this is the total price that I should charge. Okay, so what I can do here is I can evaluate 30 plus 2 times 9 tenths, and that's going to be my answer. Okay, so if I go into my calculator here, oops, and I take 30 plus 2 times 9 tenths, I get, oops, in decimal form, because we're dealing with dollars, I get $31.80. So that would be my uh, maximum, or that would be my optimal uh, price to charge. That's going to give me the optimal revenue.